Bag in boat racing is one of the fastest growing water sports in Britain. In a sport that encourages tight-knit teams, Dave Williams is something of a rarity. He's a freelance paddler hoping to paddle his way to the top. They mentioned at the gym that they were going to do a dragon boating event. It was something that intrigued me. I thought, well, I've never, I've never, I've never actually seen a dragon boat. I've never sort of been involved in the sport. So, you know, the rest of the gym's doing it. Well, you know, it's raising money for charity. We'll, we'll, we'll get involved. When you first have a go in a, a dragon boat, the, the biggest thing that you experience is getting used to, to trying to paddle in time because you've got anywhere from sort of 16 to 20 people in the boat and invariably you will get everybody trying to do their own thing in, in the boat and, and the key to any good team is to get everybody paddling exactly at the same time. Just four years after he started paddling, Dave's already made it into the Great Britain senior men's team. The biggest buzz for me and the thing that keeps me sort of in the sport, if you like, and striving to get better and better is you know, everybody working as one. The boat's running very, very smooth, it feels strong, it feels powerful, um, feels fast. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what keeps us coming. The goal is a chance to compete in the Olympics. Trainer Dave Price will only pick the most committed. The selection criteria is pretty tough. The, the GB men's team, we got these guys together probably about nine months ago. And uh, we started with about 100 guys. We run with those guys for about two months. Uh, and then we time trial them. We time trial them in single canoes to bring that number down to your final 21. So the, the, the final guys that you see on the water here today, they, they're the, the best of the best, really. They, they've come through a long way. Within a dragon boat itself, you have lots of people playing different roles. This really is a Chinese fishing boat. It wasn't meant to go fast, so we have to try and get the optimum waterline on it with balance. Then we have guys who stroke the boat. These guys need to hit rates. They're pretty much like a metronome. You would say, give me 66, give me 70. So they need to have a really good sense of timing and rhythm. We then have guys behind them who are called shields, and the shields actually protect your strokes. They stop the stroke coming through too fast from the back, so they hold the paddlers back. So whilst it might look that the whole board is paddling in unison, what you really have is a number of sections paddling in unison, so they split up throughout the board. One of the reasons for doing that is if you've got a lot of people trying to follow down a board, you would end up with a caterpillar. Everybody was going in one after another, or trying to, you'd have this caterpillar and the boat wouldn't go fast. Everybody needs to go in exactly at the same time. But this in no way is just a men's sport. The Great Britain women's team first raced in 1997. Polly Gifford has made it into the squad. I'd never heard of dragon boating. I'd done a bit of kayaking when I was a kid, um, but I was living in Australia, in Sydney, and really fancied doing a a water sport and a team sport and a friend of mine who I was sharing a house with said um, come and dragon boat and did one session and that was it, I was totally hooked. I think A it's being out on the water which I love being on the water. You get such a wide variety of people from all kind of walks of life but it's just the ultimate team sport and when you get 20 people locked together in a race and it's all going perfectly it's just the most fantastic feeling. Despite their competitive edge, racing together has brought the teams closer than just a shared love of the sport. There are quite a few couples now where one half is in the women's team and the other half is in the men's team. Um, I suppose at least it gets people together a little bit more than they would normally. But, and there are, there are quite a few. But it's mainly about practice. And Dave Williams knows he has to train hard to reach his goal. At the minute, I'm on the water um, six times a week, uh, ranging from about um, sort of half an hour to 45 minutes, an hour maximum. So it is, it is quite a, a lot of work, but um, it's like everything else. If you want to be you know, good at what you do, then you're going to put the work in. You're not just in that boat racing for yourself, you're in that boat racing for every other single person in there, because you know they're putting in 100% and they know that you're putting in 100%, and that's the edge, because up at this level, all teams are strong. No one's gonna win by a boat length. You know, everyone has been training hard. Everyone's getting times that are probably really similar. What's gonna win it is, if, is that spirit, is that will to win, and that comes from having a strong bond among the crew. 
for me, the, the, the ultimate aim is that it is a guest sport in, in the Beijing Olympics in 2008, and I would you know, dearly love to be a part of it um, in 2008. At, uh, you know, representing Great Britain would be fantastic. You know, hopefully come up with a gold medal. <laughs> Are we ready to take more of the world? Yes! Really,